Hi Capricorn, how are you doing? My twin and I are twin oracles here on YouTube. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for checking us out. We are truly grateful to each and every one of you. Thanks Caps. Thank you for being here today. We will be doing your mid-May tarot reading. However, although it says mid-May, our intention is that all of our videos and readings are all timeless, meaning whether they find you today, tomorrow, a year from now, it doesn't matter. Have faith and trust. When these videos knock on your door, that's when they will most resonate with you. Okay, Capricorn? With that being said, it is a general reading. Please do accept, welcome, and embrace the messages that do resonate with you. And please leave behind the messages that do not. And if you hear me say he, she, him, or her, it, they, etc., please feel free to reverse the roles if and wherever need be. With that being said, today we will be using the Sanctus Concordia Tarot deck and the Terrestrial Fauna Oracle deck, both by Chris Lee. We absolutely love these decks, and if you are interested in having either one of these for yourself, uh, please take a peek at the link down below where you will find Chris Lee's website and also you will be able to take advantage of a 10% savings for you as a special thanks to our Twin Oracles family here on YouTube. Capricorn, let us take a moment to give thanks and now we'll jump into your reading. Dear God, Source, Spirit, Universe, thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us here today. Thank you for all of our blessings, all of our provisions, big and small, we are happy for them all. Thank you for the food in our tummies, the clothing on our backs, the loved ones in our family, the loved ones and family members in our lives. And we thank you, God, for all of your blessings. We ask that you help us to keep our hearts opened. We ask that you help us to be more aware of blessings that you provide us with and put us in a place, in a position of more gratitude and thanks. With all that being said, let's hop on in. All right, what is going on with Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn? All right, so you have the Hermit. So Capricorn, this could be you or this could be a Virgo. It feels like you're in a very deep space of solitude here. You're, you don't, it's like you don't see anyone around you. You don't see anything around you or anyone around you. You're in a very deep spiritual awakening here. Something has happened to you, Capricorn, where it's really shifted your life. And it could have happened a long time ago. It could have happened recently or it could have happened, you know, a year, a year and a half ago. But something altered your life and you're, you know, amidst a spiritual awakening and in deep thought. Okay, um... You're going within, you're, you're not really associating yourself with the external world at this time. You're going within and you're finding that inner guidance. You're finding the light within. You're finding the direction from God, from within you. And this is where you're putting your time and your energy. You're in a very deep spiritual subconscious space right now. And you're capturing the guidance that you need to have in order to need to know what to do next year. You're attaining inner wisdom, spiritual wisdom, and inner guidance. All right, what is going on with Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. And it kind of feels like you're in the end of a cycle here. For some of you, this could be a relationship that you're looking to cut out or you're looking to end. For others of you, it could be a career. For others of you, it's you know a person in your life that just doesn't resonate with you any longer. There's something here that is coming to a close, that's coming to an end, and perhaps that's why you're trying to find um, inner wisdom and inner guidance. Let's get some more information. There we go. So next you have the Four of Pentacles. It's like at this point in time, you're not really letting anyone in. You're finding your stability, your security, your inner strength, your inner fortitude, 
And you're, I feel like you're really trying to find answers here. You're fi trying to find answers. You're trying to find truths. You could be, maybe for some of you, you had a spiritual awakening because you were holding on to something too tight. Perhaps that was not meant for you. Someone or something holding on to someone or something too tight or so tightly and it, it's not meant for you. Others of you, perhaps you've been too like frivol frivolous, maybe, you know, being careless with um, giving parts of yourself away or giving aspects of your life away to someone or to something. You know, kind of like someone telling you to do something and you do whatever they say to do no matter what without thinking for yourself, without putting yourself first. You know, there could be someone in your life that's after financial gain here and you're seeing that. That's the whole purpose and point of this spiritual awakening here. You're going within to, to figure out the truth. Is this person really here for me just for financial gain? Or do they love me? These are the, the answers that you are seeking, Capricorn. Now, others of you, if it doesn't have anything to do with love, then this is career. Um, you know, trying to sort out, you know, what to do with your finances, where to invest money. Um, you know, should you work for someone else? Should you become self-employed? Should you invest? Should you not invest? You're going within here to gain inner wisdom, more answers, clearer guidance. I see some of you wanting to put your, your like you're putting a stand. You're standing your ground. You know, for some of you, perhaps through the spiritual awakening, you've seen the truth. And, you know, while you're spiritually awakening, you're going to want to stand your ground and hold on to what's meant for you instead of just giving it away so easily. Like you did in the past, you might stand your ground and say, no, this is mine. You're not going to do this to me any longer. For some of you, you could be an abusive situation or dealing with a narcissist and perhaps you're an empath, you're a starseed, you're an earth angel and someone has been taken advantage of here. And so God came in and implemented a spiritual awakening, turned your life upside down in order for you to see the truth. Let's see. What else do we have for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn. There we go. Oh, wow. You have, well, let's take this one too. You have the Nine of Cups, Capricorn. The Nine of Cups, you know, I would like you to pause this video for a moment before I jump into this Nine of Cups and have you just close your eyes and take a few deep breaths and tune into your heart and ask your heart, you know, what is it that you want? What are your dreams? What are your desires? It can be anything. It can be more than one. The universe is unlimited. It's bountiful. What are your dreams? What are your desires? Sit with that for a moment. And when you do return, I want you to realize that this Nine of Cups means wish fulfillment. It means your dreams becoming a reality. It means dreams coming true. This is wish fulfillment here. So a lot of you have been holding on to your dreams and you've been working towards your dreams here. And it feels like your dream is about to come true here for you, Capricorn. The next card out is the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, you've been waiting for so long for your dreams to be made real, to be your dreams to be made manifest. You know, this energy of the Knight of Pentacles is an energy where you don't give up. 
right? You never give up. You're Capricorn. And so you take your dreams and you're constantly molding them, constantly sculpting them, constantly putting the energy in that is required to bring you to the vibrational alignment where these dreams can become a reality, where these dreams of yours can be made manifest, whatever that dream may be. It's a general reading, so it will be different for each and every one of you. But I see you putting in the work. I see you putting in the effort here the energy, the time and the energy into creating and manifesting that which you desire. It's like you're taking your dreams and you're running with it. You're rolling with it. Now for others of you, I'm picking up that there has been someone in your life. I'm picking up again this energy of like abuse, energy of someone being in your life just from what they can get from you or get out of you and you know someone someone's definitely taking advantage of here i'm feeling with this knight of swords and they've been putting in the time they've been putting in the effort they've been putting in the energy here to you know take what they want and they've been doing it for a number of years for some of you they can be doing it for nine years four to nine years i'm seeing but you have two nines here and I feel like that cycle is coming to a close or it will come to a close at some point. It's either coming to a close or will come to a close or it came to a close for others of you. I see someone taking something from someone like Capricorn, you gave your heart and your soul and for a lot of you, even your money, you gave your heart, your soul and your money to someone here and they took it all. They took your soul, they took your heart, they took your money, they took your energy, your time, your everything. And I see they're running with it. They've put their, this person was really calculated. This person was really um, strategic, strategic and calculated. Every action, every step taken was very calculated. And they put in their time doing this. You have the Empress. For some of you, this person took your birthright. They took money from you, they took abundance, they took prosperity. At the same time though, I feel like what is really meant for you, Capricorn, cannot be blocked and it cannot be stopped and it cannot be taken away. It's like this person may get away with something but it's, it's peanuts in comparison it pales in comparison to what you're gonna get because you're divinely you're a divine child of god here and this person's not now if you're not if this storyline is not for you and you're not with someone who's abusive or a narcissist then this is simply you knowing what you want in life and you're going within to find that guidance, to find that direction, to find the answers, to find you know, the pathway and the process on how to get to where you want and how to get what you want. And I see what you want will come in for you, Capricorn, because you are putting in the time, you are putting in the work and you are gonna have your wish fulfillment. You are gonna have your dreams come true here with the Empress. Right? If you're if that's not your straw man, if you're not with someone that is taking advantage of you, then this is simply a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous reading, Capricorn, where your dreams and desires, because you've put in the time and the energy and the effort, because you've been really doing the work, you're rewarded. God gives you your dreams. You have fertility, prosperity, abundance. You have it all. It all comes to you. Another card for Capricorn. So you have the Lover's card. Okay, so you have a few cards that came out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, 
you have the lovers. The lovers. The lovers above the hermit talks to me about um, a relationship, right? A, a partnership, a marriage. Okay, and making a decision as to what to do about this relationship, this marriage. Okay, um, some of you, you could be making a decision. You're you're being guided here, like. You're in Capricorn, you're in a very big spiritual awakening here, okay? You can see that this energy here is a spiritual energy that is guiding you. This is the guidance that you're going within here in the Hermit to discover. You're trying to get these answers and, you know, people on the outside don't see it, they don't know it, but you are being spiritually guided and you know this, you're in a spiritual awakening, Capricorn. And this could have to do with love. It could have to do with career, it could have to do with finances, okay? Some kind of cycle ending. It could have to do with a marriage, because you do have the Eight of Wands here. The Eight of Wands talks about some form of communication, but for here, I feel like with it being beside the Lover's card, I feel as though this communication is from God to you. These are the messages that you're receiving from God. Okay, and you're in the spiritual awakening, you know, not really dealing with the outside world because you're receiving these spiritual messages from God. This is on a very deep cellular level, on a deep soul level, on a very deep spiritual level. Now, others of you, this Eight of Wands with the Lover's card can represent needing to make a choice when it comes to um, love or marriage, could be career too, um, but needing to make a decision perhaps about um, a legal binding contract for some of you. Someone may be served papers. Next you have the Eight of Pentacles. You know, this above the Nine of Cups is you working towards your wish fulfillment. You put it in your time, you put it in your energy, you put it in your effort. You're working really hard here. Now, if there is someone if you are dealing with an abusive relationship here or narcissist, this is someone putting in their time and their energy into making their dreams a reality, into making their dreams come true, into them putting their calculated energy and their premeditated ideas into practice in order to take from you here. This is the person working hard behind the scenes. Okay, but I do see though with this two of pentacles, what goes up, up must come down. What goes up must come down here. And what goes around comes around, right? So if someone does take here from you, you know, this will come back full circle to them. Okay, next you have the queen of wands. You know, someone here could be taking from you and going on to their next person or their next victim, okay? Or they could be working with um, someone behind the scenes. You know, for those of you that believe in this type of stuff, they could be working with a witch or with black magic of some sort. I want one card for the outcome for you. One or two more cards for the outcome. One or two more cards for the outcome. What is your outcome? So, we have the Queen of Cups. This is you. This is, sure, there could be dark forces working against you here, but you're protected. <coughs> Excuse me. You are with God right now, all the time, every time, every breath you take, you're with God. You're in a very deep spiritual awakening here. And with this Nine of Wands, you are so divinely protected. You know, these people, this Queen of Wands, this Knight of Pentacles, if you are dealing with someone that's abusive, they can try all they want. They can do what they want. But you know, these two cards with the Empress cards here, this is divine protection here. No one can touch you. No one and nothing can touch you. No one and nothing can harm you. 
in fact we rebuke we rebuke right here right now any dark forces that come against you may be returned to sender a hundredfold a hundredfold returned to sender because you are divine you are god's protected child you work for god you don't work for the lower ent energies lower vibrational entities okay you are a child of god a son or a daughter of god okay and you are protected so we rebuke right here right now return to sender everything that does not belong to capricorn right here right now this seven of wands do you see this protection up against you this is a whole barrier a whole wall a bubble of of light a bubble of white light that surrounds you and that protects you you are illuminated you are god's child and the most beautiful part about this is that at the bottom of the deck you have the queen of swords you have the queen of swords okay so the queen of swords represents you know being a widow it represents getting a divorce it represents cutting someone or something out of your life and there's the tower this is the energy i was picking up with the first card out here with the hermit that your life came crashing down however long ago whatever that time period is for you it's going to be different for each and every one of you capricorn but something came down here something came down and something is going to continue to come down here with this queen of swords and the nine of pentacles there's an ending you will have a divorce if this pertains to a person in some kind of legal binding contract or commitment this too shall end this too shall end definitely and so you have three queens on the table the queen of swords the queen of cups the queen of wands and you're, you're taking back your power here. It's just a matter of time and you have your power back. I love this for you, Capricorn. Let us pull a card from the Terrestrial Fauna Oracle deck. You know, the whole purpose is you being in this spiritual awakening to do now what you didn't do then. So you have the kangaroo. So again, some of you could be, this for some of you could be having custody over a child as well. Others of you, you could be getting pregnant. You can be heavily fertile at this time. Um, if you wanna get pregnant, great. If you don't, be careful. Um, maybe some of you are finding out that you're seven weeks pregnant. Some of you are seven months pregnant. Okay, so you're really trying to sort things out here in your life. Okay, let's see kangaroo. So the kangaroo says, the kangaroo symbolizes strength, grace, and the ability to overcome obstacles. Watch its agile leaps and learn from them. Be bold in your own journey, embracing new opportunities and facing challenges with determination. Notice the kangaroo's caring nature and strong family bonds. This highlights the importance of building strong relationships and supporting loved ones. Create unity and a supportive community around you. The kangaroo's pouch represents a safe place, a haven of comfort, Make similar spaces in your life where you can find solace and rejuvenation. Prioritize self-care and your own well-being. See how the kangaroo thrives in different environments, from dry plains to lush forests. This shows adaptability and a willingness to change. Embrace flexibility and be open to new experiences. Remember that the kangaroo speaks to you, encouraging you to recognize your own resilience. Take courageous steps. Nurture meaningful connections. Create safe spaces for self-care and embrace change with adaptability. Let the kangaroo's presence inspire your journey with strength, grace, and a deep connection to both yourself and others. So Capricorn, I really feel like you are trying to find that well, you're in that inner sanctuary. You're trying to find this safe haven for you within your life. And for some of you, maybe you've been with someone that kind of has taken that safety 
comforting feeling away from you, okay? For some of you, you have been in danger, were in danger, or some of you are in danger with an abusive person. And that's not for all of you, that's maybe for one person here. And you'll know if that's you, okay? You already know this yourself, so not to worry. Um, I feel like you're being asked to make the decisions to do what you did not do in the past. You know, before the tower came down, there was some kind of event that occurred in your life that crashed everything in your life, that spiritual awakening moment. And it feels like when that happened, before that happened, you were being asked to make a choice. You were being asked to make a decision. You were being asked to change something in your life, remove someone or something from your life because it no longer served you. And because you weren't listening, then it feels as though God or the universe placed a catalyst, um, uh, created um, an event that shook you in order to wake you up spiritually so you can now make the decision that you were meant to make then that you did not. And so whatever it is that you're experiencing at this time, Capricorn, whatever energy or, or space that you're in right now, um, you, you, you're incredible at, um, experiencing different energies. Okay. So it's like you're flopping from one energy to another. So when this person's in front of you, you're in this space mentally and spiritually and emotionally. When that person's in front of you, you know how to be in a different space mentally, emotionally, spiritually, right? So you're kind of like toggling back and forth, trying to like you're in these different energies, depending on who's in front of you. And you go back and forth, you waffle back and forth. Um, so for example, if you were with someone that was a lower vibrational person, let's just say, you're, you have that person in front of you and you're experiencing that. But then you have this other people in front of you, person or people, could be two people in front of you that are of a higher vibrational nature. They are filled with light. You can see the light is here, right? And so then you toggle between light and dark, light and dark, light and dark. So depending on who is in front of you, you're in different spaces, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, if that makes sense. So it's like you're, you're waffling, you're back and, back and forth in different energies until you're ready to make, uh, you know, that sound mind decision. So you're very strong, Capricorn. You never give up. Keep going. You've got this. You're extremely resilient. That's how you're able to toggle these two energies, the light and dark, light and dark, light and dark, because you're extremely resilient and because you never give up. Okay, so continue down the road of you know being courageous as you have been till now. You're incredibly strong, stronger than you'll ever know. Um, and just know that you're safe. There are loved ones around here helping you in this situation, okay? I definitely see that there are loved ones here um, and it could be a family member or family members. It could be a Libra here that is here by your so side, helping you, defending you, supporting you, loving you, protecting you, protecting you from harm if you're in a harmful situation, okay? But basically you have everything that you need. You have everyone that you need. You're very loved. Um, and whatever it is you're going through, as difficult as it may be, this is for your better good um, and for your spiritual growth, for your spiritual evolution. And even if it might not feel that way, you are spiritually protected by God, okay? You're divinely protected by God's source spirit, okay? So Capricorn, I send you all my love, all my strength and courage and blessings upon you right here, right now. Anything of ill will, anything of a low vibrational energy may be rebuked and returned back to sender a hundredfold in this instant, right here and right now. Amen. And so it is. So Capricorn, keep going. You've got this. You're going through this because you're able to go through this. You're stronger than you know. Hold on to your courage and your resilience. Until the next time, Capricorn, I love you so very much. I really, really do. You've got this. I'm so very proud of you. Uh, we do ask that you hit that like button for us. It doesn't cost you anything. It means the world to us and it helps us grow to send these messages out to the world, to people that need to hear these kinds of messages. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Be sure to subscribe to Twin Oracles and...
thank you for hitting that notification bell. Until the next time, we love you so much, Capricorn. Bye for now.